Oh, it is opening morning here in Pennsylvania, and uh, I'm going to spend the morning just driving around, checking out pressure, seeing who's doing what. I'm sure we're going to see some deer. Uh, there's just no, there was no point in me going and hunting the spot that I wanted to hunt this morning because I know I'm going to make noise getting into it. So, what's the point in me spooking the deer? when um, I have an absolute giant stud of a buck hanging out. I'll move in the, I'll be able to move quieter in the daylight, so I'm just gonna spend my morning driving around, checking out some of my other spots, seeing if anyone's hunting them. We're coming up here. This is private, where we're gonna go but there's public behind it. So I kind of just use this to gauge, um, use this road to gauge what could potentially be available on the public land if I were to ever go and hunt it. It's just uh, it's a difficult spot to get to. Gotta go up river. And uh, with all the rain we've had in the past week, there's no way I can get to it right now. There's a couple of them back in there. Oh, there goes some deer. Does. There goes a couple more doe. Yeah, that's part of the problem about hunting where I'm at right now with uh, an open field like this. You gotta walk through the field to get to any kind of a hunting spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Handful of deer out here, but uh, you gotta get no horns, so. Well, that's not something you see every day. Guy going hunting on a bike. Well, if that is not the absolute just pinnacle of Pennsylvania hunting, I don't know what is. I, I've, I drive this road all the time. I've never seen seen anything like that. But hey, maybe he's got DUI. Maybe he's Amish. I don't know. At least he's getting out there. Hopefully, he's hunting the property that he's supposed to be hunting. That's always a question when you're in Pennsylvania. So. Just got down to the old nursery property here. Oh, I gotta get under this tree. Oh. Oh, I'm getting too old for that. That's a tiny hole. So I just got down here. Yeah, we're actually gonna hunt tonight. Got a good north wind, it's absolutely perfect. Deer might see me. I literally am wearing shorts, t-shirt, tons of bug spray. It's 70 degrees out, so not too happy about that, but we're gonna make a sit out of it. See what we can't come across. Well, we just got in, sitting over the big food plot here, and it's so hot. Deer have been in here almost every night, so I figured I might as well sit here. Should have decent wind coming this way, away from the food plot. Deer now normally come from across the power line, so should be pretty decent tonight. Other than it's warm, and well, that sucks, because that means mosquitoes.
I promise you right now, I haven't been here for more than three or four minutes. I don't even have the camera mounted to the tree yet. I can't, basically, I can't shoot without, well, I could shoot, but it's not going to be on camera. They're also 50 yards away right now, so... Looks like too mature doe. I'm assuming there's got to be fawn somewhere with them. It's definitely a good sign. Come muzzle loader season. Because I'm going to be in a ground blind over here. And uh, I'm going to have the kid with me. He's been dying to come out, so I'm going to have Parker come out with me during muzzle loader. I just spotted the third deer. But if it was muzzle loader season, one of those doe would be done. Chip shot of 50 yards. Well, it's about six o'clock now. Those deer went back over across the, the power line. Just been very quiet. It actually looks like it's about to rain, but I don't think. I don't think we're supposed to get anything. out there is just bugging out. She's definitely seen some shit before. Just freaking deer glory here tonight. I just had these two deer come in from behind me. <clears throat> I'm in an acorn area. Uh, it's a pin oak, so they don't get very big. I look over and there's a fawn running to me. And next you know, the mom's there. Standing there. they're using it again. <laughs> 